cross-browser testing happens when one test runs on more than one browser. In some cases, the same test can fail on a browser but pass on all of the other browsers. The purpose of cross-browser testing is to compare results and compare behavior to make sure the application operates successfully in different browsers. With Test Project, we start by adding a new job. We see three options, but let's go with web, then click next. The name is cross browser testing and description is run tests on multiple browsers. Then click next. You see the browsers have their version numbers. Select Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. Then click the Create button. The job shows zero test and four browsers. Drop the first test by dragging Login Test. In the previous video, I created a data source to perform data-driven testing. I am going to grab that data source and use it for this video by clicking the pencil icon for options. Select login test data for the data source. If the test fails, we can proceed by continuing, skipping to the next browser, or end the job. We want to continue. Click update and we are finished attaching the data source. Combining the data-driven testing with cross-browser testing will produce multiple iterations on each browser. Let's run. Job execution has started. We see Chrome is the first browser. Next is Edge. Third is Firefox. And last is IE. Execution has stopped, but looks like something is wrong. Do you see the second job execute test project has a green icon? That green icon is not available for the cross browser testing job. Let's go to reports. Select executions, then cross browser testing. Okay, the success rate ratio shows 40% for Chrome, Edge, and Firefox, but 0% for IE. That's a perfect example of cross-browser testing. The test executed on three of four browsers. Right now, Chrome is selected, and it shows iterations one, three, and four passed, failed. Iterations two and five passed. Select Edge, 
and we see the same results. Firefox show the same results. Let's see what IE shows. It shows error with no steps. Let's go to the summary report. Thirty percent passed, forty forty-five percent fail. Test results show the browser and which iteration failed. Failure report shows which iteration failed with the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Go down to the bottom of the report. IE shows no failed test on the phase report and error for each iteration. It's probably some kind of configuration with IE. That's okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to send a report using an email notification. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium automation book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.